Hi everybody, welcome back to another video with Electra Soul. In this video, we're going to be talking about why it's so important to let go of the old shit so that you can let in the new shit. But before we get started, let me just say that I do have a spiritual store called electrasoul.co in which I sell spiritual jewelry. Here we got our 333 angel number hoop earrings. I also sell sages, incenses, and crystals, and I do spiritual coaching and spiritual readings. So if you're looking to enhance your spiritual abilities, I'm all here to help you out with that. Just shoot me an email and we could get started. You can follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You could like, share, comment. All right, now let's get started with the video. Letting go of the old shit is literally the key to everything just like i say the mind and the tongue are the two most important and powerful things in this world do you really think that thinking about the past consistently is going to be helping you absolutely not especially if you're trying to affirm a better future if you're trying to have better things you need to let go of the past something that i used to struggle with so much was letting go of old shit because that was what i wrapped my identity around every single thing that happened to me i would hold on to it for sake of nostalgia bitch nostalgia it definitely does hit but nostalgia is definitely a liar the things that you experienced while you were experiencing them are probably not even as good as your mind is making them seem this specifically goes for people who miss the bad times because it is possible to miss the bad times i definitely was somebody that would miss certain events that would happen to me because i would remember them completely different from how they actually were they are not to be romanticized they were bad moments and that's it you have to look at it from a different point of view you need to realize that these things happened in order to help you grow as a soul not because you were meant to be stuck in these moments and consistently thinking about them wishing that you could go back to these times you can create new memories you can create fun memories you can create new things now stop focusing on the shit that happened three years ago with the person that you once dated three years ago let it go it's not here because it's not meant to be here if it was meant to be here you would still be experiencing these things today the things that rob us of the happy times now is consistently thinking about the past or staying stuck upon something that no longer matters kind of like what andy bernard said i wish we knew that we were in the good old times before they became the good old times or something like that it is so true you need to realize that what you're doing right now is more important than something that happened to you five years ago even a year ago these things are good memories you know you can remember them and be like wow it was a lot of fun but that's it it's just a moment of remembering you have to let it go because how else are you going to grow you are going to stay in the mindset of who you were when these things happen as opposed to realizing what you have right now and treasuring it i was actually telling my good friend the other day about the fact that i would self-sabotage in every single relationship i was in i would be with somebody we would break up i would miss that ex I would get into a new relationship and I would just compare this person to my ex. And so the whole time I was just focused on how was this person like my ex? I miss my ex, I miss my ex. And then when me and that new person broke up, suddenly I would become obsessed with them and be like, oh my gosh, I'm never gonna find anybody like them again. And the cycle kept going on and on and on like that. Tell me, is that really a way to live? You're literally wasting all of your time focusing on some old shit that happened years ago as opposed to just learning what the lesson was, letting it go and moving on for the better. That's why now I refuse to stay stuck upon something that happened to me even a week ago I will let that shit go and that's it because I refuse to get stuck into the old story ever again Learning and growing is a crucial part of our spiritual journey How else can you become a better version of yourself if you're not focused on the you that you are today? The same thing goes for when you're out with your friends and you're constantly on your phone or you're thinking about some other stuff Let it go sit it at home. This is something that I've told a few people in regards regards to letting things go or not thinking about certain things when you're out this is something that i had to learn for myself too when i'm out with my friends i can't be thinking about what idea i can do to incorporate into my business it just doesn't work out like that you end up thinking about the things that you're thinking about too much and you end up wasting precious time that you could be spending with your friends or with whoever it is that you're out with even if you're alone if you're at the beach who wants to be sitting there thinking about something that they're supposed to be doing that weekend? Something job related? These things are supposed to be at home. You're taking you to the beach, not your thoughts with it. If you are going to think things, think positive things or think about the fact that the water is so nice 
or the fact that the breeze is so cool or the fact that the beach looks just beautiful today don't be thinking about things that you could be doing right now this is something i think capricorns do a lot or earth signs in general we struggle a lot with living in the moment and that's because we're always thinking about other shit that we could be doing instead I am so guilty of this, but I have worked on it so much because I just became so tired of not living in the present moment and then missing out on these moments and then later on in the future regretting the fact that I wasn't 110% present when I was living in that moment. If you're looking to affirm a certain future, how else are you going to do that if you're always thinking about things that happened to you before? If you're thinking about the time that you got hurt or the time that something happened to you and so you keep letting these fears come in. You need to realize that those things happen once and that you're not going to let it happen again. So don't let it happen again. Affirm that it won't. Letting go of the past comes a lot with acceptance. Just accepting things for what they were. You need to really sit down with yourself and if it helps, write it out. Write out the things that you miss and why you miss them and why it's okay that it's over now. Why it's time for you to move on. This really helps a lot because you really get to understand the reason for why you do these things. Why you're unintentionally screwing yourself over by thinking about something that no longer matters or is no longer present in your life. Oftentimes, when you ask an older person if they have any life advice for you, one of the things that they'll say was, I wish I had lived in the moment more. People always struggle with this. This is something that happens to thousands, millions of people. Part of it comes from the fact that they're genuinely worried about other things and not appreciating what's happening right now. And the other part is them being afraid to truly enjoy the moment because they don't want it to go away. And so they rather not feel it at all. Don't repeat the same mistakes that you made when you were with your toxic ex. Your new and healthy relationship is here now. It's here to help you grow and learn from what happened. Do not repeat the same old mistakes. Do not do things that you know will hurt your future, especially if you know you know better, but you're choosing to do the things that you did before because it is a choice after the first time. The first time is a mistake. The second time that you're doing it, it's on purpose. Whether you want to admit it or not, you're doing it on purpose because you're afraid of some change. Let the change come. Let yourself be happy. You deserve to be happy. You don't deserve to be living in a space of fear and past and regret. You should not regret a single thing that you've done in your life. Everything that you did was for a reason. Whether it was at a point where you thought you were dumber or that you didn't know that much or that you just didn't understand what was going on. That's totally fine. We all have those moments. I've done some things before that I'm not 110% proud of, but it happened. That's it. Nobody's perfect. Everybody has messed up in some way. The only thing that you can do now is apologize, change your actions, and never do it again. So don't do it again. Don't cheat on that partner just because you had somebody who cheated on you before. Don't treat somebody bad because people have treated you bad before. Don't bully people just because you've been bullied before. Make the choice to be better. Live in the now. You will only be as happy as you choose to be. And so choose to be happy and live the right way. Listen to your intuition. You've got that shit in the bag. Do not let anybody take that away from you because it cannot be taken away from you. Surround yourself with people that understand what you're talking about. Surround yourself with people who understand how to live in the moment. Surround yourself by happiness, by pleasure, by positive thinking. Make good choices every day. It's all up to you, truly. But if you want a better life and a better future, that's the way to go about it. All right, thank you all so much for watching. That's basically it for my video. I just had to let y'all know because I know living in the past is such a struggle for so many people but it's something that we have to let go of and just continue on with it's a new day a new chance to start over a new future new present everything we're gonna be fine thank y'all so much again i love y'all so freaking much i'll see y'all next sunday for another video god bless bye